it was a good start. Um, got to show a lot of the younger guys. They played well. I know there was some, probably some nervous jitters. Um, they got that out. They were able to defend. I feel like, you know, we have definitely um, defensive improvements that we're going to look at and um, just continue to improve on it's a long season. Um, but I felt like offensively, we got going early. Um, we were able to push the ball. And I feel like we just stayed the course. Um, we know that there's both improvements on offense and defense, and we're going to continue to work at that. Anybody have questions? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, uh, hey, Janelle, okay. congrats on the victory. Um, just what are your thoughts on how the team is fitting together so far? I know you guys weren't able to scrimmage before this, so this is really the first competitive game you've played since uh, the end of last season. Yeah, I feel like the team is coming together well. Um, I feel like, um, especially the younger guys, they're just really eager um, anytime, whether they mess up or they do something good, they're just worried about what's the next play, what do I need to do, keep asking questions. Um, I feel like they're just ready to um, come and get better every day, um, whether it's practice or now. We have a game, so um, just ready to get better for the next game. Um, yeah, I just think this team is really together, really on one accord um, and just has one goal, just to you know appreciate every game um, and to come out and win. So. And then on offense, how do you see the balance working? You guys were going down to the low post for a fair amount of the game, but then you also had um, Deja and Petra spacing it out. So do you expect to go inside for most of the game throughout the season? Yeah, we, we have a lot of threats. So I don't even know where I can say the ball is necessarily going to go. It's just, you know, based on how they're playing us. we got a lot of um, post players this year. we got a lot of guards. We have just a lot of good people in each area that can do multiple things. Um, you see Liz posting up, you see Deja getting to the basket, um, Ali Z facing up, Anya rebounding, Malou rebounding, Jalen can play multiple positions. I can go on and on down the list, but um, it just depends on how a team is playing us. But I just think that, you know, it's a blessing to have um, a lot of threats on offense. Um, and, you know, we're just gonna keep it in an attacking mode. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions for Janelle? Janelle, when, when you when you see Petra hitting two three pointers right off the bat, that's ought to make you feel good that she's going to open it up and allow you more space inside. Yes, that makes me feel good. <laughs> um, just like I said, it's multiple threats. Um, everybody's you know ready to catch. Um, look at the basket and see what they have. So um, yeah, like I said, it's a blessing um, just to have people who are in attack mode all the time um, and you know willing to be aggressive, get to the basket or like Petra shoot, so yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, all good for Janelle. All right, thanks, Thank Shady. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we're joined by Deja Kelly. Welcome, Deja. Hi. Why don't you go ahead and give us a few thoughts on your first collegiate game, and then we'll take some questions from our group here. Um, I thought that was a good first game to kind of get um, my feet wet. And as far as all the other rookies, we're a pretty young team. Um, and I thought we, we adjusted pretty well. You know, that was our first real game. We haven't had, really had any scrimmages or anything like that. So just having that be our first collegiate game, um, I think we did pretty well. Great questions. Yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. Wow, yeah, Deja, congrats on the win. Nice to see you. Uh, first of many times we'll be chatting with you. Um, I was wondering if you could just elaborate on that. Coach Banghart said the other day that really the thing she was looking to get out of today was, other than the win, was experience. Um, what was your biggest takeaway, especially from the group of freshmen today? Right, yeah, um, like Coach was saying, she's trying was trying to get um, – the rookies in the inexperienced players um and a lot just to kind of get us going just to let us get a feel um of the next level and um i think we did a pretty good job of you know just kind of executing you know obviously we still have some things to work on some things to learn um but that'll come down the road and yeah i think we're i think we're going to be pretty good just for being a young team so Hi. any other questions yeah, um, Deja, just leading the team in scoring um, in your first collegiate. Oh, sorry, as a watering up. 
putting the team and scoring in your first collegiate game. Um, just what was working for you today that, that was letting you be so effective? Um, so just throughout the game, I was trying to just make some reads, um, see what was coming within what we were running uh, within transition. Um, I think, you know, just just trying to find my shot, just trying to find, you know, not really trying to force anything, just trying to go with the flow within um, how we were playing. And I think I was able to do that today. Um, and obviously with me attacking, it opens it up, it opens the floor up for a lot of other people like Petra who had three, four, five threes, <laughs> I don't even know. Um, and then as far as our posts too, it um, allows them to just sit down and go get a layup. Um, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then Janelle uh, just mentioned that the team has so many threats this year. Just as a point guard, how do you balance that and, and try and make sure the ball gets around to everybody? Right. Um, yeah, we have five threats on the floor at a time, which is great um, for a team like us, especially a young team. Everyone can score it um, in their own way, and I think that is um, that's going to be really good for us. Um, just as far as running the offense, as me as the point guard, you know, just want to, I mean, like I said, go with the flow, um, see what comes within the offense, see what's open. If we run the same thing, go back and hit a different option because um, once they take one away, then another will be open, just that type of thing. Um, so, yeah, just kind of just going with the flow within the offense. All right. Thank you. You're, you're pretty effective. Uh, th three assists and only one turnover. Uh, did, did that surprise you that, that you're able to to push the pace and attack like you did and not turn the ball over? <laughs> um, so Coach Bangart has really emphasized to me um, these past few months that we've been practicing that I can't have a lot of turnovers and the ball's going to be in my hands a lot. Um, so I need to be able to take care of it and be able to get us into our stuff and be able to just handle the ball and get us going in transition. Um, so it doesn't really surprise me. <laughs> I want to say, um, but I, I just I'm, I feel really comfortable with the ball in my hands. Um, so with that, I need to be able to take care of it. So thank you. All right. Anything else for Deja? Yeah. All right. Thanks, Deja. Appreciate it. And we'll get um, Coach Banghart here in here in just a minute or in there, as the case may be. myself hi hi there welcome um could you just give us a few thoughts on the opening game and then we'll take some questions oh yeah i mean it's nice to finally play against someone besides ourselves and we gave you guys a good look at our young guys and um obviously that's uh, always a pleasure to, to to finally play against somebody else we got a lot of i got to be patient with this group i know that um it's a young group but uh, they'll get better and better if they keep uh, if they if they stay the course so i'm glad you guys got a chance to see what i've been watching for the last 60 days all right, questions? Yeah, Coach, just out of curiosity, what do you think you learned today about your team watching them play against actual competition? I'll see a little bit more probably in the film. I mean, I as a coach, I can't help but see holes, right? And that's probably why uh, we continue to get better. But uh, we've got some holes for sure. Um, but I also, I love that we've been preaching that we think we have depth. We think we have options in, in various positions and and um, different players that can hurt you in different ways. And I thought they proved me right today. And, and that made me um, that made me really happy. But that's a hungry group. This group will be ready to go tomorrow morning. I can tell you that uh, we'll start with film and move on to the next opponent. And they'll they'll they'll, they'll they actually at this point, I found they practice harder than they play. So we'll, we'll keep working on the adjustment inside the lines. And then for this season, do you plan on using zone as much as you did today? Uh, maybe we're pretty, we can be pretty long in the zone as you saw. Um, and also, you know, you can, um, we've got certain guys that can be really long in that zone. And we also have guys that can be really small. And so if uh, ISOs are a problem. So yeah, I think we'll, uh, last year we were so small, it was hard to do much, but um, yeah, we got a lot of length. We plan to mix up a bunch of defenses throughout the year. Hey coach, I think um, a lot of people expected, you know, Deja Kelly to kind of fill things up. But Kennedy Todd Williams, she got a bunch of playing time, especially in the first half there. Um, almost had a double double. What did you make out of her um, play this afternoon? Yeah, I mean, there's a there's a low key love affair for Kennedy Todd Williams in the women's basketball offices. Um, you know, she's someone who I you know I nominated her for the all all ACC newcomer team. I think she's really a good basketball player. She's a local kid. She tore ACL in her junior year, and so her stock plummeted a little bit. Um, but I've been watching that kid play for a lot of years, and that's what you're going to get. She is the Scotty Pippen. 
of college basketball on the women's side. And Scotty Pippen made a living uh, by being good at a lot of things um, that maybe not great at any one thing. Um, and that's what she is, is. She does a lot of, she does so many things for us. And I think she's a kid that just, if you ask the gym, what I love is it's such a variety of people that will say who their favorite is, but you're going to see, you're going to hear a lot of KTW as their favorite, I think, on this team. And Petra didn't take long to make an impression, making two threes right off the bat. And uh, that's got to help everybody else, especially the post players. 100%. That kid has to make threes, at least three a game. Um, she's old enough to do it. She'll have enough chances to do it. Um, she's really has to stretch the defense, especially without Watts. You know, that's an important part of our offense um, who was sitting on the bench today. So um, yeah, she's, she's an experienced kid. She's super competitive and she's been waiting. She got to Carolina probably in May of this past year of, you know, of, of this year. And so she's just been dying to play a basketball game. And, and finally, you know, what she does is what she does. And, and she just has to keep doing that. Uh, the, the, the pace that uh, the offense had with Deja, was that about the pace that you want? Did, do you want it to be pushed more? Or? And the, the identity of this team, we have to be, in, in order to use your depth, you have to be able to force a 40-minute game to be high tempo. So we can chart that by number of offensive possessions. Um, we can chart that also by the number of empty possessions, which means you didn't really get much done in that possession. Um, and we do both. Um, so there were times where we played fast enough. Um, but I think that had as much to do with the speed of the other team more so than our speed. So um, we've got to continue to, to, you know, gain the confidence of, of how to play fast, which in practice we do. It's just getting now we've got to get these, these game reps um, in. So, you know, we've got two more chances this weekend to get more game reps and we have to be two games better by the end of that weekend. About the third quarter that, that, that when they made the run and they cut it to 10, what was happening there? We just literally stopped defending. They, they scored 11 straight points. Nine of them were in transition, right? So we just stopped defending. Um, we really hugged our own, which we call it, so we didn't get in the gaps well. Um, and then they ran simple ball screen and away balls and away action, and, and we left the arc open. Um, you know, so what they took 27 threes. You know, it's it's it, those those hurt you. Two of those go in to six point swing. So did, we didn't we didn't lock in defensively, and we missed four layups in that same stretch. Um, and typically our kind of old reliable Janelle is someone who will make those, but three of them were hers, you know, so we're missing layups on one end and giving up threes on the other. And that is a math equation that doesn't work in our favor. Thank you. Any other questions? It's great to have college basketball back. Thanks for, uh, thanks for your coverage. All right. Go thanks, coach. Thanks, Thank Jordan. Mm -hmm. Oh, coach, thanks, Dana. Of course, let me know. Thanks, Dana.